There I was, minding my own business, just browsing seasonal recipes on allrecipes.com in the middle of May, as you do, when I discovered this thing. Yes, you are correct. You are looking at what can only be described as rat loaf. So, <laughs> I think it's pretty funny that, um, that there's a recipe called rat loaf. I think that's kind of hilarious if you ask me. Uh, nobody does. Um, so, <laughs> I'm a cook it. <laughs> Welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> Step one is to preheat to 375 degrees fuego. That means oven. Deep. Oh, oh shit. Deep. Deep, 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 deep. Oh, no. Deep. Ah. <laughs> ah I'm fucking cool. Hi. I had quite the realization that I hadn't thawed out my meat yet. I probably shouldn't be breathing over the food I'm going to be eating. Um, I haven't fully my hand. Hi. Hi. Um, I hadn't Italian hands. I hadn't thawed out my meat yet. Um, <laughs> so I tried by sitting, I genuinely, like I didn't play it out for the camera or anything, like I genuinely thought it would be a good idea to sit my meat on the edge of my oven door in the Ziploc bags they were being saved in, don't ask, and <laughs> to thaw them out. <laughs> <laughs> As I was sitting in my apartment with my oven door wide fucking open, I was like, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> so to cook this stupid fucking meal, the first thing you're gonna need are two eggs. Eggies, if you will. I had to bring my trash can over because uh, this is getting a little messy. Okay, egg number two. Beautiful. Oh, I'm so good at cracking eggs. Okay. The eggs are in. Next up, your boy needs to chop an onion. So I unfortunately do not own any knives that can cut food. I don't know why I didn't think about that before I, you know, owned an apartment. <laughs> um, and is, I've been living here for like over, a, almost a year now, I think. Uh, so this is kind of, this is kind of humiliating, if you ask me. So maybe we won't do a whole onion, maybe we'll only do a little bit of an onion and we'll call it a fucking day. You know? You know, I mean, I think Shrek does it the right way. He just bites into that shit and don't chop it. I mean, I'll say it. We are kind of, if ogres were real, we would be the, inf ooh, dinner time. If ogres were real, we would be the inferior species. I'll say it. Next up is two cup of milk. Good thing I got a big scooper. One cup of milk. Yeah, look how much milk that is. We're only doing one cup of milk. The king has spoken one cup of milk. Next is breadcrumbs. Let's see. Two cups of breadcrumbs. Once again, a lot of breadcrumbs, but I feel like breadcrumbs are more important. I didn't know breadcrumbs came in like a Coca-Cola can like this. That's so fun. It's like, oh, 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 I'm gonna drink some breadcrumbs. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm really hoping this bowl is big enough for what I'm doing because I don't have any other bowls. It's time to be that meat. Gross. Yuck. Now, this is like non-human meat. Like imagine like a cannibal. Like you know how gross that is? Like even like people are like, oh, it's it's a sin against humanity to eat another human. Like, yeah, but it's also like just fucking gross. Onion chunks are way too big. I'm gonna be biting into this and getting a face full of onion, which is not what the creator of Rat Loaf intended. The next step is what they call Rat guts is the next step. Um, 
It is a mixture of crispy onions, cheddar cheese, and a little BBQ. Uh, I'm, today I'm using Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue Sauce. A cup of French fried onions. We're using the breadcrumb <laughs> milk cup. <laughs> I should have rinsed this out, but like, who rinses things? Bon app the teeth, here are our final products. Aren't they delicious? Don't you just want to gobble that up? Okay, hi. Um, the next step is called making the rat. I made that up. <laughs> um, time to make the rat body. So it says I need to use half of this meat to make the bottom half of the body and then half of this to make the top half of the body. Um, okay, come on. Come on, Mold this into the body of a. Oh, it's so soft. I probably should have sprayed this with like a non stick sort of thing prior to going into this, but like, fuck it. I don't care anymore. I just want to make the rat. Okay, so now I spread some cheese on this rat. It says it needs to be thick, so. <laughs> oh, this is actually starting to look good. So I guess I'm just gonna improv is what I gotta do. Uh, so I used olives for the eyes, and I used spaghetti noodles for the whiskers, and it's said to use a slice of red potato for the ears. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, she lovely. Look at her, gorgeous. Eh, voila! Here is our rat. Oh, 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 oh boy. Ah, oh, he a beaut. He doesn't have a tail, but I honestly wasn't sure what to do to make a tail. Um, doesn't matter. So now he just goes into the oven and he cooks for like an hour, I think. So see ya on the other side. <laughs> Bye, little one. Hello, I'm so glad you can join me for this momentous occasion. I even have a candle here to burn myself. Now, beneath this red sheet is the moment we've all been waiting for, the rat loaf. We have worked ever so hard to create this beautiful rat loaf. And a toast to the rat. Oh, the nose fell off. Without further ado, <laughs> I don't mind if I do. <laughs> I did it. This is delicious. So now, you too can make rat loaf, because apparently it doesn't <laughs> taste pretty fucking good. Um, so yeah, this has been a video where I made a meatloaf in the shape of a rat. We do we do fun things here on Channel Logs. Sorry for being MIA for like three or four months. <laughs> um, I promise to upload a little bit more regularly in the future. I have some video ideas coming out. Um, yeah, don't subscribe, dislike, uh, leave a hate comment, I love those. Cha-cha-cha-cheers! <laughs>